Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is a cleaning video and it's an easy and quick cleaning for the weekend. This is what I've been finding myself doing pretty much every Thursday or Friday just to get the house ready for the weekend. If you've been following me, you know that I don't like to do a lot of cleaning uh, during the weekends. This is our time to like spend time together and go out and just relax. But I do not like the house looking at total mess. So I've been doing this just to get the house kind of like ready for the weekend so there is no chaos everywhere and so it's semi clean and we could just enjoy our weekend and it's been working out so I figure I will share with you guys. Okay so starting in the kitchen I am doing some dishes, I just finished having lunch, Penelope is still having lunch so I like to get ahead and start doing things because she'll be entertained for a little bit. So I'm doing these dishes because the dishwasher is actually going, I forgot to put it to work yesterday so it was full. So here I am doing dishes which I hate to do <laughs> but once those are done I am just giving my sink a quick wash with soap and water and then moving on to the rest of the kitchen. Is lunch good? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, you ate all the beans already, of course, because you love beans, right? <laughs> you are so funny. This girl could eat rice and beans like it's her job, like she loves them, but then she just poops so much, so I don't like to give them to her all the time. <laughs> that was TMI, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Let's get back to business. Okay, so as usual, I'm starting with my counters, just wiping them down with my German chamois and the Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner in the scent mint. And just so you guys know, they still have these scents and if you sign up, you could still get them for uh, free, like the whole kit, but they are running out of the spring scent soon. I actually just put an order for the peony because I don't wanna run out of it. I'm like so obsessed with it, but I just figure I'll let you guys know and I boil some water for my tea and also because I boil water for Penelope um, because I still put water in her bottle and also for the water she drinks throughout the day. I don't like to give her bottled water and I don't like to waste money on it so I always just boil it. I am getting so off topic, I need to focus. But we're done with the counters, moving on to the island. The first thing I do is just get everything that's on it to its place. I love this island, I love how big it is, but I swear everything just lands here. So that's the first thing I do is clear it out. Then I am just putting away all these dishes so I could go ahead and clean it. And again, I am just using the mint multi surface cleaner and the island is not really that dirty. Um, maybe a little bit of from me preparing lunch. So I'm just using my microfiber towel and just wiping it down real quick. So my dish soap was out, which was the mint scent. So I had to run out and get the peppermint that I had left for the holidays because I never finished it. So I just grabbed that because my shipment hasn't come in. So I'm waiting for the peony scent soap, which smells so good. Once I'm done with the counter, I'm pretty much done. I'm just using whatever product was left on the towel to wipe down the garbage because since Penelope's been walking and stuff, she just loves to touch the garbage and she tries to pull on the garbage bag. So I just been wiping the garbage all the time now. Now that the kitchen is done and Penelope's done eating, moving on to the dining room, first thing I do is clean her chair and then I'll move on and wipe down the dining room table. And to wipe down the table, I am still using the multi-surface cleaner and mint and a microfiber towel. So I picked up a few items from the Opal House collection at Target. I don't know if you guys have checked it out, but they have really cute things. One of the things that I picked up and probably my favorite is this table runner, which I love. I think it goes so good with my dining room table, so I'm just putting that there. And then I am using my Swiffer floor 
pads, the dry ones, just to dust a little bit, um, get rid of any dust that might be around. I didn't want to go in and wipe anything down with the wood cleaner or anything. This is a very light cleaning, but you guys know I love using these for dusting. They're just easy to use and they literally pick up everything. To clean the glass doors I am using the Grove Glass Concentrate which I absolutely love. This is like the best glass cleaner ever and just a paper towel. I always have to wipe these down because Penelope's little fingerprints and handprints and slobber are all over them all the time. <laughs> okay this is the current state of my living room. A disaster! And we have a million toys here. And Penelope trying to escape. Hello! This playpen my parents sent us came in so handy because lately when I'm doing cleaning videos, all Penelope wants to do is grab the camera. And we've had some close calls. And if she breaks my camera, I mean, I'll have to say bye to YouTube because there is no way I could buy another camera. <laughs> Okay, so here I am still using just the Swiffer pads just to wipe all of this down, get rid of any dust that might be there. I don't necessarily do this every Friday or Thursday when I'm doing my weekend cleaning, just as I see it needed. Like if I cleaned the living room a couple of days ago, I'm not going to do this, but um, it was a little bit dusty because for some reason this house gets super dusty, no matter what. So I just went ahead and wiped it down. I love these um, like chest benches because this is where we keep all of our blankets and extra pillows so they're not showing or anything and I just love having these even for toys these are great okay can we all agree that when you like fluff up your pillows and put them nicely on your couch and lay your throw on them it automatically makes you feel better and it makes the room look better doesn't it or am, am I the only one? Am I crazy? <laughs> okay, but I'm serious. Like, if you're not one to, like, fluff the pillows on your couch, you should go do it because it will definitely make you feel better. And even when you sit on your couch, you'll be like, oh, these are nice and fluffy. Like, this feels good. <laughs> this mirror is another one that needs to be clean because it has... Penelope's little prints all over it even though I don't let her play around the mirror when I am not like right there just because obviously this is not hung and I get scared of anything happening so the only time she's actually around it is when I'm trying to take a picture or anything but of course every time I'm trying to take a picture of my outfit or anything like that she's just all over the mirror so it constantly gets super super dirty. So she's out of her playpen and this is my attempt attempt <laughs> to put toys away which is always fun with her because she just wants to either play or she'll just mess up anything that I fix. But I am getting all the toys out of her playpen because I will put it away. I usually put it away for the weekends just because both me and Tone are here during the weekends so there's no need to put her in there. Plus it does take a lot of space so I'll just fold it up and put it away and then I'll take it out during the week when Tone is not here and I need to get stuff done. I ended up moving the couch because I realized there was a couple of toys down there and also uh, a pair of my slides. I wonder who stuck them down there. I'm not gonna say names, but she's little and cute. Okay, so now that all the toys are semi-organized, I'm gonna use my Baby Ganics, um sanitizing wipes, which I have for Penelope's hands or for her high chair sometimes if I'm doing a quick cleanup I'm gonna use this to clean the mats and Penelope just took off so I was just trying to call her but she comes and she helps me and it is the cutest thing when she does what I'm doing it like melts my heart and also you know I'm teaching her young she needs to learn how to clean quick so she could help me <laughs> she also thinks it's a game so it's a win-win because she's having fun and I am getting stuff done. So once everything is picked up and put away, 
and everything is wiped down, all I have left to do is vacuum. You guys know Penelope loves the vacuum. Look at her smiling. She just thinks it's the funnest thing. And I let her just follow me around for a little bit, but I do get so scared of knocking her out just because she moves so fast. I lose track to where she is, and I'm scared that I'm just gonna run her over with the vacuum. So I'll let her hang out for a little bit, but then I'll just either put her in her high chair or in her walker. I really wanted to show you how easy it is to fold this guy up. I was going to get like, you know, the gates that you could put however you want, uh, but this is so much easier. You just fold it up like a little fold up chair and it's super light, you could put it anywhere. So I usually just put it in the pantry, in like a corner in the pantry and I just leave it there and I take it out as we need it. Okay, it was time to put her in the walker, even though the walker is still a pain in the butt because she just goes all over the cord so I'm constantly having to untangle the cord or move the walker but it's better than her just crawling behind me. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you I also picked up the cute little rug from the Opal collection at Target and I put it by the sink because Penelope likes to hang out right by my feet every time I'm doing dishes so I figure I will put that there so she's not just sitting in the cold tile all the time. So now that the living area is all done we're moving on to our bathroom which is the one that we just use all the time and I'm just gonna give it a quick clean up just to get us nice and set up for the weekend. I started by putting the toilet bowl cleaner in the toilet and just letting it sit while I get the rest of the bathroom clean and for the counters I'm just wiping them down with the Grove um, multi-surface concentrate. I'm also putting that inside the sink and just using my German chamois to wipe everything down even the inside of the sink. I'm just again giving it a quick cleanup. I'm also just cleaning the mirror but just the area that tends to get like dirty from us like washing our teeth and stuff like that. I'm not getting on the ladder to go up top or anything. I'll do that when I do a deep bathroom cleaning. Again I'm not moving anything around or getting everything off the counter i'm just wiping down around it because this is a just quick cleanup Back to the toilet, all I'm using are the Clorox disinfectant wipes and I am scrubbing the inside with my regular brush just because I put product in it but because this is a super just clean up kind of like mains cleaning uh, I'm just using the wipes to clean the rest of the seat and everything else. Once the bowl part is clean, I do use the multi-surface cleaner on my chamois just to clean the top of the toilet or the outside area. And that's about it. That's all I'm really doing in the bathroom and then just giving it a quick vacuum because 
there's hair everywhere and Penelope again is always crawling in here so I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum that and since I'm already here I'm gonna give my bathroom a quick vacuuming you guys know I love vacuuming and it just makes me feel like the house is cleaner and it just makes me feel good so I am vacuuming my room as well once I get done here, we're moving on to Penelope's bedroom because that is also a very trafficked area of the house. So I am putting some of her jams. This is the most annoying song, but she loves it. So I just played for her and I put her in her crib so she would actually let me pick up her toys because if not, she would just pull down everything that I put away. So I'm just trying to entertain her by singing and dancing but all I'm really doing here is just picking up the mess and giving it a quick vacuuming and that's pretty much it So once I finish vacuuming her room, I just vacuum the little hallway outside and I'm pretty much done. And this is what I've been doing every weekend and I just feel like this really just sets me up for a better weekend just because I feel the house is more put together and somewhat clean and it just makes me feel better and it helps me relax. Like I don't have to worry about mess everywhere and I could just enjoy my time with tone and pee. But that is it guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see more of these type of videos by giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you next time, thanks for watching, bye!